They're taking the road to the mobile bail. And then the pass of Kitty's uncle. What does that mean? Hey guys, I hope you're all having a great day. In today's theory, I thought it would be interesting to cover why Gandalf was so concerned when he learnt the news of the path of Frodo and Sam from Faramir in Minas Tirith. In the timeline of the return of the king, Osgiliath was overrun. Faramir, who was the leader of the garrison, led a retreat. He knew the citadel was taken by force from orc militaries. The soldiers fell back to Minas Tirith as Mordor's armies had gained additional territory of West Osgiliath, which had strategic significance due to the city being on the borders of Gondor and Mordor, arranging across the Great River. Now that the garrison was overrun, Mordor's armies had secured land where they could fortify their legions and more importantly, use the gained territory to mount a besiegement towards the feeble remnants of Gondor's Minas Tirith. Once Faramir had led his men to temporary safety within the refuge of Minas Tirith, he had word with Gandalf and Pippin. The captain of Gondor was shaken from his ordeal with the Nazgul, but he was just as stunned at the sight of Pippin. The halfling who was the third that had crossed his path within a matter of days, Mithrandir who had curiously observed Faramir's reaction to the halfling, wished to take counsel with the ranger immediately. Just a few days prior, when the Gondorians had spotted Gollum in the Forbidden Pool, he aroused Frodo to show him the gnarly creature. Frodo had pleaded with the captain to spare Gollum, notifying him that he was their guide. Faramir was unenthusiastic to spare the creature's life after entering the Forbidden Area. After capturing Gollum, Faramir could sense the wickedness of the creature. During his interrogation, Frodo, perhaps blinded by the ring, seen to be the only individual trusting of Smeagol. Reluctantly, Faramir places the fate of Gollum in the hands of Frodo. Simultaneously, he provides Frodo the freedom to roam about Gondor to its furthest bounds, and that he and any of his companions shall have protection within his realm. This was inclusive of Gollum, if he so wished. Faramir turned to Gollum, ominously, bounding him to the same fate as Frodo, threatening the doom of death if he is ever seen within his lands without his master. Faramir then demanded to know where Gollum was leading Frodo and Sam. The creature didn't answer. Faramir was quick to ask a second time. Still, Gollum was holding himself from speaking. Frodo proceeded to answer for him. He brought me to the black gate as I asked, but it was impassable. Seeing this, we turned aside and came by the southward road, for he said that there is or there may be a path to Minas Ethel, which is now known as Minas Morgul. Frodo continued, The path climbs, I think, up into the mountains on the northern side of the vale, where the old city stands. It goes up to a high cleft unto that which is beyond. Faramir pressed for the name of the high pass above Minas Morgul. Gollum hissed, Kirithun Gol. A bewildered Faramir ordered Gollum to be removed, so he could have a word with Frodo. He warned Frodo to not trust the creature. The steward prince even offered Gollum safe conduct to any point of the border of his lands that he may name if Frodo would part with him. Yet, the hobbit refused his offer. Frodo was adamant to keep his guide to the very fires of Orodrun. Faramir at the last urged Frodo to not take the path of Kirithungul. They say a dark terror dwells in the passes above Minas Morgul. We cannot go that way. Faramir knew nothing certain of the fate of Minas Morgul, yet he warned Frodo of the lidless eyes that lurked within the evil city and the nine evil lords which kept Minas Morgul as their lair. As Faramir remembered his encounter with the Ringbearer, who imparted his land just two days ago in the present moment, he Gandalf and Pippin entered the private chamber of the Lord of the City. They were accompanied by Faramir's father, Denethor. Faramir proceeded to tell the tale of Frodo, Sam and Gollum. During the account, Pippin became aware that Gandalf's hands were trembling and clutching the carven wood upon his seat. With a great fear, Pippin noticed that Gandalf himself was troubled, even afraid. And when Faramir spoke of their road through the Morgul Vale, 
we arrive at this reaction. Vladimir, tell me everything. Tell me all you know. Vladimir spoke all he knew to Methrandil, mentioning that at swiftest, since their parting, the Hobbits would be five leagues from Minas Morgul, which is roughly 17 miles. The White Wizard was now pacing the room, deeply concerned at the revelation, asking more questions aimed at Faramir so he could better understand the location of the two Hobbits. Faramir and Gandalf seemed equally concerned of the direction in which the Hobbits were journeying, due to the growing evil in Kirithungul, which was Elvish for Spider's Cleft, and Minas Morgul, which aboded the Nazgul. Add the treacherous golem into the equation, and the room for concern is quite vast. However, it is important to note that Faramir could not offer a better solution to Frodo so that he could accomplish his quest. He could only warn the halfling of the present lurking evil within the land. Now, later in the night, when Pippin and Gandalf were having a conversation in their private room, we get to understand Gandalf's thoughts on their travels a little clearer. So we arrive at this scene here. Is there any hope, Gandalf, for Frodo and Sam? There never was much hope. Just a fool's hope. When I heard Kirithon Ghul, he broke off and strode to the window, as if his eyes could pierce the night in the east. Kirithon Ghul, he muttered. Why that way, I wonder. He turned. Just now, Pippin, my heart almost failed me, hearing that name, and yet, in truth, I believe that the news that Faramir brings has some hope in it, for it seems clear that our enemy has opened his war at last and made the first move while Frodo was still free. So now, for many days he will have his eye turned this way and that, away from his own land, and yet, Pippin, I feel from afar his haste and fear. He has begun sooner than he would. Something has happened to stir him. So, although Gandalf was ultimately concerned, which is saying something in itself, he came to have hope, for even he himself did not have a better geographical approach than the halflings led by Gollum. However, he could not overcome the emotion of Frodo and Sam travelling to the home of the Nazgul and other evil things up the high pass through to the spider's cleft of Kirithungul, all whilst being burdened with the ring and being led by the treacherous Gollum. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification button to stay up to date with all my content. The likes really do help, so please smash that like button. Hun on there for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Lord of the Rings Theory.